good people? You hear your boy, John GK, back with some more Dave Chappelle. Uh, today, the topic is going to be men and women. So I'm sure he's going to be making some men and women comparisons here um, when it comes to the relationship. Um, you know, that's just my guess anyway. Um, when I have some opinions of my own, of course, man, like if Dave Chappelle says some truth, I'm going to agree with it. I'm sorry, ladies. Um, you know, don't feel kind of, some kind of way. If he says, you know, some stuff about women, I agree. Oh, hey, I'm going to back the women. So, hey, let's not get into a little, you know, a debate here. Let's not get into arguments in the comments. This is just a stand up, man. It's all fun and games. Don't take it literally. Uh, like I say, said in, I think, the first Dave Spell video, if you are somebody that takes this kind of stuff seriously and literally, do not watch this video. Do not watch it because I'm sure he's going to come out with some stuff that may <clears throat> you may feel offence to. However, if you can take it literally, you can take it as a joke. Hey, man, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the video with me. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Don't y'all feel that way? Like men aren't gentlemen anymore? That's right. It's true. Chivalry is dead. And women killed it. <laughs> all right, easy. All right, all right, all right. There's a fundamental difference in the way we're going to see things. We're not going to see out of hour on this issue. We're just not. Right. That's the one thing between men and women is you they never you listen men will never see never see eye to eye with, with a woman and a woman will never see eye to eye with a man like it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship brother and sister friends you're, you're never gonna see eye to eye like honestly Test so true life are different a woman's test in life is material a man's test in life is a woman <laughs> Now, by test, I mean that those are the things that we desire. Men have nice cars, not because they like me. Just quickly, female subscribers, let me know in the comments if <clears throat> you are materialistic. Like, is that the one thing in life that you're looking for? I don't believe that. I don't believe all women are materialistic. But, hey, if there are those of you that are materialistic, just say, yeah, I'm materialistic. Um... Do I know a lot of girls that materialistic? Yes. Are all of them materialistic? No. So I'm not sure about that one. Um, but yeah, let's continue with it, shall we? Nice car. Because they know women like nice cars. Hmm. Yeah. That's true. That's how it goes. That's true. Because men are hunters. And the car is the bait. And the woman oh. comes and says, ooh, nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Oh my god. That's true. Come on now. You go to a woman's house, her house be comfortable as shit. Women yeah. love comfortable surroundings, so men get comfortable surroundings. Let me tell you something. If a man could fuck a woman in a cardboard box, he wouldn't buy a house. But that's still not oh. chivalry got killed. Chivalry got killed by the feminist movement in the magazines that got women going crazy because women got too much advice about men from other women that's that's another point as well man like i see all these women nowadays all these girls why are you getting advice off your friends like come on i sorry i, I have to break it to you girls do not know what men want you're not going to know what men like unless you're in a relationship like i i see it all the time girls be getting advice off their girlfriends about men like what are they gonna know? Like you're better off getting advice from boys or men that you know of, because they're gonna give you the right information. Because we're men, right? I see this all the time. It's the same same thing. Men go to other men to try and get advice off women, but you're not gonna listen. No one knows what women think. No one knows what men think. Like we're two different, we're two different spectrums, man. That's true. That is true. And they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> It's true. 
Sorry, it's true, it's true. It's true. I see this shit in the, in the magazines. I don't read them, but I be seeing the cover. I look at, I be in the grocery store, fellas, you look at one of the magazines, like, what is this? And they say on the cover, a hundred ways to please your man by some lady. <laughs> Get out of here, man, come on. Ain't no hundred ways, that list is four things long. Just suck his dick, pipe his balls, and <laughs> fix him a sandwich and don't talk so much, you're never gonna get happy. La 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 And then the oh, magazines no. trick the women. The magazines start picking at your self-esteem. Every page you turn, you start feeling fatter and ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I need to go back to that one, man. That one's funny. Ain't no hundred ways. That list is four things long. Just suck his dick, pipe his balls, and then <laughs> fix him a sandwich and don't talk so much. Oh my. Do you know what's funny behind that joke? Yeah, that's how simplistic we are as men. Now, hey, let's not get deep here on this stuff. Let's not go into that kind of thing that you're saying, right? But that's how simple men are. Like, that is how, like, basic down to the T we are. Like, we're so simple and basic, but a lot of women overthink about what, oh, I wonder what he's thinking. Oh, what was he doing this? He's doing that. Oh, what, what, I wonder where he is. I wonder if he's doing this. Oh, wait. Literally, we'd just be sitting at home having a coffee in bed. Like that's that's literally how simple we are as men. Women love to overthink all the time. Um, I'm not saying all women. Hey, I'm not, and I'm not even making judgments on women because men we can do the same thing. Like we can overthink about women, right? Like we can over complex things. I understand that, but that is how. Get, hey, any of you that subscribe to my channel, man, women, a little bit of advice, men are simple like we only see things in four steps like we we don't have like 10 or 20 steps like we can't follow that we can't follow 20 steps we can do one at a time that is how our brain works just a little bit of advice for you <laughs> what and then the magazines trick the women the magazines start picking at your self-esteem. Every page you turn, you start feeling fatter and uglier, and you feel like your clothes aren't good enough. And the magazines have you forgetting how fucking beautiful you are. And that's what happens. Now look what happens. That's so true, and man. You forget so how true. Beautiful you are, and we all suffer. If pussy was a stock, it would be plummeting right now. Because you know Oi, I, listen, I don't know how old this content is, maybe 20 15 years old right because he's talking about magazines like i'm sure if this was um you know more modern or in this generation not not generation in this kind of year like if it was like 2020 21 20, 2019 like everything is on social media now like there isn't you know you don't really see younger people buying magazines anymore like yeah you might get the older generation doing it but you don't see younger women younger boys younger men buying magazines anymore um but this like what he's saying Compare that to social media, it's exactly the same thing. Like, like not just women, men. Like, men, men and women are both insecure on how they look, um, you know, how they carry themselves. It's so true. Like, you go on social media, you see all these big influencers with the uh, big fancy cars. You've got the people wearing the designer clothes. you got people saying that they're going on holiday four times a year in Dubai going off to, I don't know, anywhere, you know, you know, to travel it, they might even be traveling, like, they don't actually understand that that affects a lot of people, man, like, that actually affects a lot, because it makes you kind of feel like you're not good enough, you know, luckily for some of us, right, like, we have a stronger mindset, we have a stronger mentality where we can turn around and say, well, that doesn't mean anything, you know, it doesn't mean nothing, but there's a lot of people out there, man, that are struggling with that, feel anxious feel insecure about themselves because they haven't got certain things that person has like that's why social media is bad like social media is good for some things for promoting yourself from you know promoting your you know business or whatever the case might be right for promoting yourself but when it comes to being an influence and looking for people to to look up to you're not going to find a lot of them like a lot of them just love to stunt on them what they got. And that makes other people insecure about them themselves because they haven't got that. So what he's saying is so true, man. We we tend to undervalue ourselves. And that is 
That is what is so destructive in this generation. We undervalue ourselves. We don't value ourselves high enough. Like you wonder why the, the, the suicide rate is so high in our generation. It's because of that. It's simple. That's, you know. You flooded the market with it. You're giving it away too easy. Is it, I'm just being truthful. I'm just talking. Oh. It would plummet. We'd be watching the news today. Pussy plummeted again. <laughs> Gold is up 10 points. <laughs> Gold is up 10 points. <laughs> you can see it. You ever, you ever have this happen? This is how confusing it is. This, this is the practical application of what I'm talking about. Like a guy be out. It's happening a lot, guys. You be out of club. This guy is hilarious. Right? Boys, and, and a girl walks by. And, and man, she looks good. She looks good. Not good in that classical way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm talking good. Like, she got half her ass hanging out her skirt. Mm. <laughs> her titties are all mashed together, <laughs> popping out the top of her turtleneck and shit. Oh. And you with your buddies, right? You with your buddies, you got a couple of drinks in you. And you see, girl, this might try to talk to her. This might not come out right now. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Damn, look at them titties. <laughs> The girl gets mad and she oh, uh uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just because I'm dressed this way does not make me a whore. Which is true. Gentlemen, that is true. Just because they dress a certain way doesn't mean they are a certain way. Don't ever forget it. But ladies, you must understand that that is fucking confusing. Facts! That is straight facts! Hey, man, I'm not going to speak too much on this because, hey, I'm in a relationship, man. I have no right to get involved with this kind of stuff. But that is straight facts! Straight facts, man. Women, women be wearing all that kind of stuff and it's like, hang on, you don't... You start complaining about how men are looking at you in a certain way. Don't wear that stuff. Simple. Simple. Like, you only see women wearing that stuff, right, when they're, when they're at a strip club and all that kind of stuff, right? I've never been to one, eh? So, I, you know, I have no comments on that. But you see these women wearing, like, lingerie and all these kind of things out and wearing tight skirt, like, you know, high skirts and all that. And then they start complaining, oh, you know, he's this, he's this, oh, he's looking. Why are you wearing it? Like, just don't wear it. Simple. Just don't wear that kind of stuff and then men won't see it as that. Like, they won't see it. Oh, like, maybe she's looking for something. Like, that's, listen, that's how men's brain, like, this is how our brains work. Like, if we see something and we feel like it's that kind of way or we, I can't explain it. See this phone case? Yeah. Like, we, we know this is a phone case. <laughs> we can open it. It's got my bank card in it, right? Like, it's got my driving license in there. But women be looking, oh, I wonder if I can, like, put that in there. I wonder if I can do that. Like, that's how that's how simple we are. Like, once we see it, okay, that's what it means. Like, maybe we have to maybe adapt as people, as men, man. Like, maybe us men need to step up. But that is just how basic our mind works. It's like, once we see that you're wearing, if a woman was wearing, like, a tight, like, a high skirt, you know, tight, you know, turtleneck, as he's describing there. Like, of course we're going to think that you're looking for something. You know? Of course we are. If you were wearing maybe some denim jeans, a nice jumper or something like that, not, of course men aren't going to be looking at you that kind of way. But hey, some men, it's true what he's saying though as well. Some men do um, go over the limit. They do pass that line. So I understand that as well, all right? So I'm trying to stay on your side as much as possible, women. But because I'm a man, of course I'm going to agree with Dave Chappelle on what he's saying because it's true. Um, but I do believe that men do cross that line sometimes um not all men man i'm not that kind of guy um but the men <clears throat> the men need to be watching this kind of video man because they need to learn it for themselves also yes, <sighs> now that would be like me dave Chappelle, the comedian walking around the streets in a cop uniform somebody might run up on me oh thank god officer help us come on they're over here help us <laughs> like, oh, just because I'm dressed this way does 
Oh, love. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, all right, lady, fine. Fine. You are not a whore. <laughs> but you are wearing a whore's uniform. <laughs> This guy, man. Well, misunderstandings can happen. <laughs> and then men, we misunderstand women a lot. You know, yes. we, we always undermine their feelings. You can't do that to them. You can't because, see, feelings are, you see how they're clapping? Feelings are very important to women. They are all important. I'm just learning this shit. Mm. Everything's based on how they feel. Mm -hmm. You can hear when they tell stories. You ever tell, hear a man tell a story, it'd be just facts. Who, what, when, where, why? It was me and Bob, we was at Safeway. Then that nigga Bob said this. <laughs> that nigga, broke out. That's the story. That's the story. Women will tell stories and all these feelings. Are, well, first of all, you have to understand, I was on my period, and I just... Oh, my, my God. Like, oh, man, so many feelings. The fuck so what the true. <laughs> Get to it. But I gotta yeah. talk about them. You gotta talk about them. That's how they always get me. I've been sitting there watching TV, chilling and shit. My old lady came up to me. David, you need to talk. <laughs> oh, my. I don't say that out loud. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know every time we need to talk, oh, about some shit that I gotta do. <laughs> we don't ever have to talk about anything she needs to do. Oh, my God, this is so, so relatable. She leaves me defenseless. <laughs> do what I have to do, David. You need to talk. <laughs> Defenseless. I have to do. Oh, I'm to doing do. that. I'm doing that, Alex. We need to talk. Where? Nah. <laughs> Don't do that to me, David. This is serious. Stop talking in that voice. Now say. <laughs> oh my I God. <laughs> oh my, my jaw. Oh. I don't want to be, I don't want to be single. I don't like mm. Wow, that's the end then. Yeah. Okay. Just in case. All right, guys. Man, that was definitely the funniest one of reality, man. That was hilarious. Men and Women by Dave Chappelle, man. Big up Dave Chappelle for that video. My reaction. Hilarious, man. I, you know, this, why, this is why this guy is one of the best. is because he can always relate literal things, real life things that are going on. And it does, same concept here, like relationships, men and women. He can, and it's almost like this stuff actually happens. Like, this has happened to me. These kind of things. Like, even for my own girlfriend. Like, we've had conversations. Like, my, my, my girlfriend's always said, Jordan, we need to talk. Like, there's always been that, so, some of those kind of moments. I'm inside. I'm just like, oh, really? Like, you know? it's uh, Some of the stuff is so relatable. That's why it's it's funny. And I'm like, this is why this guy is one of the best. Is because he can always relate your life to his jokes. And it, it just makes so much sense. But it's the same thing with like women, man. Like women, they love to overcomplicate. They love to overthink. Whereas m men are so basic. We're so simple. Like, like he said about the four steps thing. Like the story. Like I saw my mate Chris. We got a coffee. We talked. We went home. Like that's how simple we are. Whereas women were like, well, anyway, I got there late because I was doing this and that. It's like Jesus, get to the point. It's so true. It's like get to the point. And then obviously us men just sit there and we're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like we've had to, we've learned that like over the years, like over time, we've had to learn the yes or the yeah, and that basically means 
you act like you're listening, but you're not. Because we know until she gets to the point, it's just going to be like an over-dramatised story before that. Like, it's not even going to get to the point. It's going to be at least another half an hour, an hour of time where she's going to get to the point. So we just got to sit there and be like, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah, I understand. Like, literally, man, like, that's why it's funny. Hey, I love I love you women anyway, man. And not to say, hey, not to say all you women, I've got, I've got, I'm in a relationship with you guys. Come on, come on. But I'm just talking in general, man. Women, if man, men need women, man. Men need women for, for, for certain things, man. Like we're so basic and simple. I feel, I feel like women are the supporting, are the kind of the supporting um, act for men. Um, but nowadays, man, a lot of you women are independent anyway. And I, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful for that, man, that you got, you got, you, uh, not girls, sorry, you women um, are doing that, man, that you're becoming way more independent um, because I, I believe you should be independent, right? You should be. Those of you that are single, man, keep being single. Keep doing your thing, man. You don't need, you don't always need a man in your life and same as men, you don't always need a woman in your life. But I believe you always need, if you're in a relationship, you always need that balance, you need that stability and I believe that um, even like being in a relationship, man, I think that's, you know, that's, you learn so much from being in a relationship, being there for each other, being supportive. Um, but men, I think men tend to, what's the word? Be Maybe be ungrateful sometimes. Because there are some things like women um, do for men. Like women do a lot of things, man, like without us even having to ask, you know. Like even if you're like living together or, you know, any, listen, even with my parents, like there are some things I see that my mum does behind the scenes. And it's like, without without that, like, us men would be screwed kind of thing. So that's that's my point there. It's almost like men need to do the same thing back, but women are always there to kind of have the man's back, man. Like, women do a lot for men, let me tell you. Anyway, guys, that was a little rant now. I went off the topic a little bit. <laughs> um, that is the end of the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Remember to hit that notification bell so you are up to date with my latest videos. Um, I think I may do a couple more Dave Chappelle's after this and then we'll move on to the next comedian. Uh, like I said, hit up the comment section, guys. Let me know uh, the different comedians you want me to react to. I'm going to be doing some UK ones, all right? I can't stress that enough because I am from the UK and I do need to do some more UK kind of content. Um, but at the moment, I'm finding American content uh, more entertaining. But yeah, hit some UK comedians uh, down in the uh, comments for me so I can react to them in the future. Uh, yeah, you have your boy, John CK, and I'll see you in the next video.